Okay, now we'll put together some pieces we're going to go off the reservation on uh, the actual instructions here and uh, we're going to pretty much go on our own here. So I've taken out all the pieces off the sprues already um, and we'll do them in steps here. First of all, the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to prepare to paint this, but before we go to that, we there's still a few things that we want to do. I uh, took these things off the sprues, sanded them, and then put them on the card here because this is all going to be painted uh, white or in intermediate white underneath. I'll be using foundation white from model uh, Vallejo model colors. So that's all ready and ready to go here. Go ahead and do the wings. Now remember, th we're going to make the w right wing folded up. So this is the right wing. So go fold it up like this against the model. So, in order to do that, we will have to cut this little snippet here. Okay, we're going to have to cut that off. So, let's go and do that, and we'll repaint it later. going to have to go to that area anyways. Okay, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, glue the wings here together checking out the wings and it looks okay and this was a little off so we're gonna have to handle it with some sanding if you notice here just that was my bad but we could fix it let's go ahead and put the flaps together We got the flaps all glued together, the wings all glued together. It's time to sand it and refine it a bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we are done with sanding of the wings. I remember this wing here was off. But I sanded it down, flush, got the shape back. As long as it didn't go hog wild, I uh, was able to recover from that. But it was really tiny, it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, um, let's go ahead and send these uh, flaps up. Got everything sanded down. Where everything's supposed to go. Double checked everything. Everything looks good. Okay guys, so we're looking at needing to do some scribing. So I will show you a couple of ways of doing some scribing and then I'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding. But when I scribe, I use two tools. Now I wish I had those um, dentistry type of tools, but I had never gotten around to order them. So I will soon. This here is to me a scriber. You can tell has a little point here and what you do is go down the panel line or wherever you want to scribe in the panel line and just kind of scrape it along and it will create a panel line and dig into the uh, model itself now here is my pin vise and with my pin vise 
best way to get into small little areas to scribe lines is to use a sewing needle. This is a sewing needle I cut in a certain length so I can fit in my pin vise. And we just stick it in like a drill bit. Uh, stick it out like that. So that way you just go ahead and scribe along the panel line. The other things I have is a set of scribing templates. Okay, these are 148 scale scribing templates. And these will work for 172nd, I guess, too. Because it has the smaller circles and the smaller shapes and stuff. So what you do is use this some to me a tape or any type of tape to hold it along the um, model and then use it as a guide to scribe your panel lines all right now that the basic side of the way let's do this now let's take a look here at the plane now during the sanding of the plane here uh, obviously we took out some of the panel lines because we had to sand down uh, let me see if I can get a closer look here for you guys if you notice how there's two lines that we need to scribe back in, one line over here, and I think one over here as well. So I believe that's the only, oh yeah, down here. The bottom here, we're scribing these two lines here. There's a little nick that needs to be scribed back in, and right here, this line here needs to scribe back in. And probably the sign lines around here might need a little clearing. Okay. And I believe that is it. We might want to clear out some of the panel lines over here, but they look okay. Uh, this part here looks okay too. Um, so I think that is all we have to rescribe in. Now, we also have the option of just scribing down the lines that we currently have just to make it a little more deep just to bring more out uh, bring out more details so we'll go and do that so first of all let's go ahead and do a hard part here this circle here actually there is a size in this template here that would match it I believe this is it okay I would use this my pin vise to scrap the lines here so let's go ahead and place it now what people usually do is get it around the current circle find the right size here and then just hold it down up against the uh, model and you just kind of describe along the template just kind of dig into it a little Okay, now that you have your leading lines, go ahead and start freehanding it if you have a really steady hand. And bring back in those lines. Now you will be producing a lot of dust or plastic uh, gunk. Just wet your finger and wipe over it. Just get rid of it so you see where you're scribing. There you go. And there you have it. I might have to do a little bit more detailing here. Okay, and there it is. The lines are back in. Made a little boo-boo here. It went off the line a little. So we'll just go ahead and take a really low grit sanding paper here and just go ahead and fix that back up a little. Really low grit. Nothing fancy, nothing hard. There you go. Now you got rivet... Um, holes here too and to do those what you do is just go ahead and find the hole and
push your needle in and do this rounding motion here and you'll get deeper holes okay now for a straight line like this we'll just go ahead and use this template here actually we don't need to use a template here since there are leading lines here I just go ahead and use this scribe here we do is start at where there is already a line and just kinda lightly at first go over it and connect the lines like that okay and then once you get a good guide going then all you have to do is just keep scoring it like this and voila you got your line now obviously this is a little raw I still have to run it a couple more times and then I'll get my line back and that's the basics of scribing okay so for this aircraft here I am going to go ahead and pick out some lines that might need more deepening as well and uh, they're for these little odd shapes and sizes I will go ahead and rescribe them back out Okay, so the plane is all in pieces, and uh, all, everything's all scribed up, everything all sanded up. Next thing we'll do is go ahead and uh, mask the canopies. That's what we're going to do in the next video.